My journey started in a small town in Botswana called Francistown. That's where I started my primary school, went to boarding school soon after that, and A-levels in Zimbabwe. For university, I went to study law and business, and it, was, it came as quite a surprise to my parents considering I'd done maths, chemistry, and biology for A-levels. I didn't know what I wanted to do back then. It was really a choice of a degree that would give me many options later on, and I took that. It's not always the case that equality is in the workplace. Um, and I think we just have to take that as given. The world is becoming far better at considering diversity, giving various people opportunities. Um, and it is the opportunity set that's, that's really important these days. Um, and I think that comes with education, giving yourselves the best basis by which you can be selected um, for your skill set. And it's important to know yourselves. I think that's crucial. If you're to succeed in a workplace, um, it's really important to know who you are, what your particular skills are, what your differentiating features are, and that you can really shine with those. I think that way you'll be respected, you'll be able to respect others that are around you. That's really what I believe is, is what equality is. Talking about equality is important because it's easy to forget how far we have come in the last century. Equality for women, racial equality, these have been absolutely transformed, even within living memory. But we cannot be complacent. Many people still face overt discrimination and many more face the challenges of unequal opportunities, whether it's because of the colour of their skin or the wealth of their families or their personal circumstances. We can each fight daily for equality by recognising, valuing and nurturing our colleagues, our friends, our families' unique gifts and skills not striving to be the same as each other, but striving to fulfill our own potentials and help others fulfill theirs, and by challenging the barriers that stand in the way of this. So for me, equality is a state or a society whereby um, everyone is afforded the same opportunities, where um, not only are people given the freedom to speak, but more crucially, um, people see value in everyone else's voice and what they've got to say. Um, and I think it's not just a gender conversation, it's a, it's a conversation that involves many different demographic factors and I think quite often we reduce it to just one of those.